Meanwhile, out in Hayes, Kansas, there's a small aircraft company that builds airplanes with very distinct personalities. Al Marsh reports on two new characters from Rand's aircraft. Here are two new light sport aircraft from Rand's, the Speedy S-19 Ventera and S-20 Raven. Here's Randy Schlitter, aircraft designer and company owner. Why do I fly? I've always flown. I've known a, uh, my entire life. My earliest memory is flying in a Cessna 195 sitting on my dad's lap, heading to California, four years old. I can't see over the dash. He say, he's pointing to the gyro saying, keep this white line straight. So I'm doing that diligently. I'm an organic autopilot. Years later, I sat in a 195 and found out he couldn't see over the dash, so. But uh, that was my exposure, that was my lifestyle, and I've always loved flying, and I've always had a um, quest for that moment you have in the air, like the first time you actually realize you're up there flying yourself in control of that aircraft, and that moment uh, you want to relive that, and I've been reliving that constantly since four years old, practically. As a designer, I basically have no official credentials other than the School of Hard Knocks, other than an A&P mechanic and the exposure to aviation since uh, knee-high to a BF Goodrich. We've done a lot of work with consulting engineers and I've, uh, I jokingly say I, I'm an engineer by way of breaking a lot of stuff in static testing and that type of thing. The 19 came along back in about 07 when we first started flying it. It was uh, designed to what we believed to be the new SLSA rules, which we thought were going to be 1475, but it ended up being 1320. So it's a beefy aircra aircraft as a result. And that aircraft is one of our first all metal, all CNC machined aircraft. And that was certified as the first SLSA original U.S. made and U.S. designed. It was the first one of the light sport movement that was under that designation. We're looking at some upgrades on the uh, Ventera. So now we're trending toward more bling is the thing, but there is always a cost impact to doing things more blingy with less weight impact. So we're going to try to amp up the look and appearance of the interior and a more fancy paint job and some other refinements that uh, people have been asking about. The 20 is our newest entry. It's kind of an aircraft built out of proven components from uh, the Courier and the Coyote series. Uh, the 20 uses the wing and tail of the Courier and the cowling and engine system and control system out of the Coyote. So we kind of like glean the best pieces out of two great aircraft. Built a new fuselage and some other characteristics. In the end, it's its own airplane. It, it flies a lot like a Courier, but yet it has a little flavor of its own, which is nice. That's the S-19 Ventera on the left, while Randy is in the newly certified S-20 Light Sport tailwheel on the right. Let's take him up. From its looks, you'd think the $125,000 Raven is a bush plane, and you would be right. To prove it, Randy landed off airport at a memorial to the mysterious Blue Light Lady, just outside of Hayes, Kansas. Once back at the airport, it was time to test the 115-knot Ventera. Obviously, visibility is no problem for the $165,000 aircraft. From Hayes, Kansas, Al Marsh, AOPA Live. Good looking airplanes. Thanks, Al. You can read more about these two light sport aircraft in the February issue of AOPA Pilot Magazine.